Hello, you're speaking with um, Oliver Blair, and I'm going to teach you how to export from SketchUp into CryEngine using this simple method. Um, so first we'll go to SketchUp and create something, and then I'll show you how to export the level. So I've just got a SketchUp window here, so I'll just make it a, a, a cube, and I'll... I'll triple click it and press G to make it a component. It's important that you make them components and not um, groups because you can also right click and go make group but groups are kind of dumb and they don't have unique names which is what we need later on. So I'll explain it to you later on. So we can just leave that name and then we've got our um, awesome CryEngine level so now we can go up to plugins and play up preferences and then um, in the CryEngine 3 tab and we choose where we want to export it to so I'll just make a new level folder and for me it's under um, my C drive and then program files and then CryEngine and then game and I find it be works best if you put it into the levels folder so I'll just make a new folder called um, export tutorial and I'll put it in underscore and then an SU so I know it's the the SketchUp folder that's the little thing that we can do and then we'll change it down here the material name to um, export tutorial and the layer name to export tutorial um, layer tutorial layer there we go and then also in the the, the initial current engine tab make sure it's under um, global merge options it's uh, the first one selected export as individual meshes So then, yeah, that's all saved, and then we can right click in the level, and then down here under Play Up Tools, there's an option Export Level. So we'll do that. Uh, sure. Yep. And then it tells you it's exported it. And then we go into CryEngine, and we go Import Level in CryEngine. So I'll show you how to do that. So in CryEngine, just, I'll just quickly load a new level. Let's call it Export uh, Tutorial. Um, and then underscore, I'll put Cry, so now it's the CryEngine level. Just hit OK. And then, yep, OK. And then, sure, generate surface texture, sure, yep. And then, what you want is um, to go view show roll-up bar let's just put it over here so there we are there it is there it, it'll usually be over there somewhere and then you want this last tab in the roll-up bar this uh, stack or the layer icon and then go click on the folder icon which is import layers and then you find where you exported your SketchUp level 2, so mine was in game levels uh, what was it? export tutorial SketchUp, so now you can see why I've I put that SU at the end because this one is the CryEngine level that was saved and this is the, all the exported geometry from SketchUp <coughs> and then just double click on that layer file and it'll import it in and hopefully it'll be around somewhere if I just hit control A to select everything it should be there somewhere I can't really find it so I'll go view uh, well, select objects 
which has just opened this up over here and I can see that it, it has it imported it and it's imported it with the model as well so I'll just double click on that and go um, hold down control shift and left click and there it is right there I'll just drag that over there sorry there we go and now we can see that um, it's, it's put it down under the ocean there we go so there's our little cube so what we can do now is actually update it in SketchUp and have it update automatically um, in GrindGen. So I'll go back to SketchUp and I'll just edit it. I'll just make it um, a bit more complicated maybe. Just make some steps or something. There we go, there's a, something a bit different. And now we can right click on the component again. Under Play Up Tools, go Export Selected Geometry. And I'll just go No for that one. And then, yep, so it's, it should have worked. So I go back to CryEngine, and there we are, it's updated it automatically. Which is pretty cool. So now you can have a really sort of strong workflow now between the two the modeling and the and the rendering super quick okay and I've just noticed that if you um, if you update the geometry you might need to um, to tell CryEngine to reload it like it'll look like it's changed but it I guess it it stores something of the old model still so for example I've, I've, this is the one I've got in CryEngine and I've just quickly changed it to this so I'll re-export um, it so in CryEngine looks different but if you um, you know if I look away it it turns the model off I think this has got something to do with the um, CryEngine's occlusion culling sort of thing so if, if the model isn't in the view of the camera it won't render it in memory so this is a problem for updating the model so what we need to do then is to actually tell CryEngine to reload the geometry so you go up to tools and then reload geometry and it takes a wee, wee while but now it doesn't actually turn it off after we've updated it. So cool.